All right, today I'm gonna to be covering commercially made foot bags that you can have customized for you or your business. If you're interested in getting custom hacky sacks to give away as promotional items or sell as a side hustle, then this is the video for you. Maybe you're looking to start your own foot bag brand, or maybe you're a vendor or have a booth at a farmer's market or an event, or maybe you have a brick and mortar store. Hacky sacks are great impulse buy items to place next to a cash register. They sell well in toy stores, sporting goods stores, clothing stores, outdoor adventure stores, camping stores, skate shops, hippie stores, head shops, dispensaries. They're fast sellers, they're inexpensive, and they have great profit margins. Also, custom hacky sacks are inexpensive enough to give away as promotional items. Maybe you're a business and you wanna hand them out at an event or a company picnic, vendor fairs, expos. They work great in swag bags, anywhere you wanna get eyes on your brand. So today I'm gonna to be reviewing two popular manufacturers and suppliers. Uh, hopefully I can answer all your questions regarding uh, your options, prices, turnaround time, and I'm just gonna be overall reviewing both sets of bags from both companies. All right, but that was a super long intro. Let's get right into it. First, I'm gonna be starting off with Midas International. They are a very popular foot bag manufacturer and supplier. They have uh, supplied foot bags to a lot of recognizable and popular foot bag brands. I would consider them kind of a mid-tier foot bag. The majority of people who buy these bags will be perfectly happy. You can check them out at uh, MidasInternational.com or email info at MidasInTL.com. Now these bags range from about uh, two to three dollars per bag, depending on your fill, your fabric, how many panels you have, your weight, whether or not you get a uh, logo printed on the bag. And they sent me just kind of a basic assortment of what they had. Now if you decide to order a large amount of bags from this company, turnaround time is typically uh, four to six weeks, depending on how large the order is. Yeah, so far we have a pretty good assortment of fills, panel designs, uh, different fabrics. This company, uh, they provided foot bags for Dragonfly, um, Bigfoot, a, a whole bunch of different um, foot bag brands. All right, so here we have a pretty good assortment of bags. Now I believe what they did is they must have sent me some bags that they had created for other people. Here we have an eight panel design. I really like the uh, the printing on here. This is kind of a classic uh, pellet fill. This feels like a much lighter bag. If you were a classic hacky sack kicker, this is probably exactly what you'd be looking for. Here we have a Juggle Pro bag. This seems to be a synthetic leather. Very stiff bag. This would be more of a net bag for net players. Also, if you notice the, um, the, the round panel design surrounded by the, uh, the four triangles, this would be the exact same panel design as Sandmasters. Here we have a Jumbo 32 panel. This seems to be metal fill. Here we have a 14 panel bag. Um, overall, not bad stitching. Their fabric is a little bit stiff. I do know some other foot bag brands that they, they make bags for and it's it's pretty easily recognizable once you're holding them. Uh, this feels about half full with um, coarse sand. Here we have a 12 panel bag, just a classic design. I really like this gray and black. This is just your classic plastic fill. This is strictly for kicking. We have another one of these round Sandmaster fills. This is a slightly larger bag, probably a little bit over two inches. And this is metal fill. Now. Um, these do run two to three dollars per bag, so they are very inexpensive. Um, I wouldn't say the greatest fabric in the world. I also wouldn't say the greatest stitching in the world. These are mid to high level bags. The majority of your foot bag players who bought these bags would be perfectly happy with them. Overall, great assortment. I have no complaints other than the, the, some of the fabric is pretty stiff. Uh, the stitching is super gathered in some spots, which that, that may cause leaks, but overall, great bags. For two to three dollars each, um, you'd have no problem selling these for eight to twelve dollars. In, in any business, you wanna keep your, you wanna keep your cost to about 30%. So I mean, 
Between two to three dollars per bag, you'd have no problem making money off these. Again, this is Midas International. Uh, go check them out if you're interested. All right, next up is Papa Sports. A uh, huge shout out to Jordan from Foot Clan. When he released the uh, the Ninja Turtle line, I remember reaching out to him like, what type of fabric is this? Like, why do these new bags feel so different from your old bags? And he, uh, he let me know like this is a new supplier. This is made from Papa Sports. Now the fabric is thin but durable. It is very similar to an ultra suede light. They call it Amara leather. It's one of the best synthetics I've, I've ever found. Yeah, it's, it's extremely durable. Um, ex extremely soft, but something about it almost makes it grippier on your foot. I don't know how to explain it. Anyways, it's amazing, amazing fabric. And uh, yeah, that these bags are from this supplier, Papa Sports. Huge shout out to Jordan. Um, without him hooking me up with this guy, I would have never found him. So now I would consider these a higher quality bag. He has, in my opinion, the absolute best fabric uh, fill stitching, and he produces foot bags that foot bag players will enjoy, right? If you're looking for a foot bag that's super durable, super soft, easy to stall right out of the bag, this is who you want to go with. Um, they do run a little bit more. These are four to six dollars each, but in my opinion, completely worth it. So here we have uh, just a basic 12 panel, nothing special, but awesome color i love this orange The again man this fabric it is phenomenal if you are planning on purchasing custom foot bags specifically for foot bag players i would highly recommend spending the extra couple dollars per bag in my opinion um this is the highest quality uh fabric you can get uh besides an ultra suede light i wish i could get my hands on some of this stuff I'd say stitching is about the same between these two brands, but the uh, the fabric really sets these apart in my opinion. Personally, if I was going to be using these as promotional items, I would have no problem buying and selling the Midas International bags. Or if I had a camping store or some sort of brick and mortar store where I just want to have a uh, inexpensive hacky sack to sell, I would have absolutely no problem selling these bags. Um, but if you plan on starting like a, your own foot bag brand and you're gonna be selling, you know, mainly foot bags to foot bag players, I would recommend going with the higher quality bags. So uh, again, Midas International, you can check them out at MidasInternational.com or email info at MidasInTL.com and Papa Sports, that's PapaSports.com or Imran at PapaSports.com. These are both great companies. If you're interested, check them out. And thanks for watching. I love this bag. I'm playing with it right now.